Hi guys, welcome to Lit's YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So watch me in this video. In this video, I will tell you how to install Zabbix on Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Zabbix and its use cases. So Zabbix is free, open source, enterprise grade, fully featured, flexible, and distributed monitoring software, which is used to monitor an entire IT infrastructure, services, applications, server resources. Zabbix is one of the most popular open source monitoring solution on the globe that monitors various parameters of computer network and health and integrity of servers. It is widely used for feature uh, such as flexible notification mechanism that allow user to configure email based alerts for virtually an event. This allows for fast reaction to serve problems. Uh, it also features an excellent reporting and data visualization tool based on the store data. So in this demo, I will tell you how to install latest version of JavX server on a line based machine with MySQL or MariaDB database, which is used to store the data and PHP and Apache web server as the mainly web interface, right? So let's begin the lab session. So as you can see, this is a Linux virtual machine and currently I'm using, let me show you the OS release version, product release 9.2. So start with the first step, which is change as Linux mode. By default, SLX is enabled in RHEL 9. It is a good idea to change SLX current mode, uh, which is by default mode is enforcing mode to the permissive mode to work properly with the JPX. So let me check the mode first. I go with LC status command. Here you can see that it's enabled and by default it's enforcing, right? So configure SLX to work in the permissive mode. What we need to do, let me open my notepad. I need to run set import zero command and then I will change SLX permissive mode permanently inside etc config as in Linux. So let me copy the command from here and paste it in my terminal. Press enter. So this way as Linux will not block anything but the audit log will fill up with what would have been denied. Now move to the next step which is install LAMP server, Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP, right? So we need to install the Apache web server, MariaDB database server, PHP and other required PHP extension to our system. So I'll go with the yum install, yum install http d and php star hyphen y. So let me install. Local name repository should be pre-configured. So let it be installed first. When the installation is completed, we need to start http d daemon and php fpm services for now, right? Then enable its automatically start at the system startup and check if it is up and running also so what is the command command is systemctl enable http dphp fpm hyphen hyphen now let it be complete first verifying done okay now just enable httpd and php hyphen fpm hyphen hyphen now so we can check the status of both services running status command status so here you can see that httpd is enabled and active as well as php fpm is active and enabled right now next in the order what we need to do we need to install jbx server front end and agent once everything is installed now it's time to install the latest version of jbx package from the jbx official repository so just we follow the command. Command is this is the command. Let me copy it from here. Copy and paste it here. Press enter. RPM hyphen UVH updating the package and then DNF clean all, clean up the cache memory, and then install JBX server MySQL, web MySQL, JBX Apache Conf, SQL script, SNX policy, and JBX agent. Let it be press enter. So uh, basically this command does what? This command install latest repository for JBX installation and then it will install JBX server, front end and agent from official JBX repository. These all steps are mentioned in JBX official documentation. I will share this path at the end of this video for you for the references, right? So here is the command, what we have used, right? The path report.jbx.com, jbx6, then dnf clean all, then jbx server mysql and the package name, right? 
so let it be complete first done completed see uh, package installation done now move to the next step which is install and configure database so in this installation i will use password jbx as root password and jbx at the rate one to three as jbx password for database right you can change as per your requirement so again we will install mariadb from the official repository using the following command the command is curl download the mariadb repo setup then run the bash script which generate the create the repository file and then install the MariaDB server and start and enable the services, right? So let it be copied from here and paste it again here. So this command will download the MariaDB repo setup from given URL, whatever the URL is there, https downloads.mariadb.com and make a repo file inside etcm.repos.b and then install MariaDB version 10.6 and then Finally, to start and enable the MariaDB server. MariaDB server 10.6.15 Verifying complete Okay, now finally you can see start and services enabled, right? Now MariaDB installation done. Now let's configure the database. We need to reset the root password for database Once the MariaDB database server is up and running condition, you need to secure it by running the MySQL server secure installation script mysql secure uh here's the command s e c u r e this command let me check the status first okay system ctl status maria db server S E R V R. Oh, sorry. System CTL status status MariaDB server. R I A MariaDB. Okay, active running and enabled. Okay, so once the MariaDB done, we need to run a script. MariaDB secure installation, right? MariaDB secure as e secure installation, right? Which helps you to implement some useful security recommendations such as removing anonymous user, disabling root login remotely, removing test database and access to it and applying all the changes. So let's press enter MariaDB hyphen secure installation. 
here you will be prompt to determine which action we need to perform or not right so enter the current password for root or enter for none i said enter uh go with yes change the root password yes i'll give the password jbx say a double b i x z a double b i x sub x now remove the anonymous user press enter disable root login press enter remove test database press enter root reload privileges table i press enter thanks we're using my db so we have successfully reset the root password for database now log into the database to gain access to the MariaDB shell to create a database for JBX. Let's create a database using the following command. So how we can do that? Let me go back again on my notepad and these are the commands. Let me run first then I will explain one by one. First of all sudo mysql hyphen user root then sorry then I will create a database using create database command. First of all let me create a database then the next step I will create a user named Jabex with the create user command. Then in the next step, I will create allow the full privileges to the Jabex user. And then finally I can quit from there. Now, so basically the uh, basically this command create one database named Jabex. This is the first command using create database command. I create a Jabex user, Jabex database. And the second command, I'll make one DB user, database user named Javix, and the password is Javix at that one to three. And in the third line, I'll give full privileges to my Javix user. All right? Verify the database has been created. We can also verify. So let me go back one more time. Let me verify that I have successfully created my database. Command is show show database databases. So here you can see that Javix is there. And let me check. We can also verify the user that I have been created. Select user uh, from MySQL dot user. So press enter. Here you can see that user is successfully created. Right now, let's exit from there. Quit. Now move to the next step where we need to import initial schema and data. So currently the database is empty. Hence, we need to import the schema. The schema file for JBX is JBX hyphen SQL hyphen scripts package, whatever we have downloaded. So when the installation finishes, you need to import the initial schema and the data into the JBX database, which you have created in the previous step. So here you will need to configure JBX database with the password also. So command is, let me go back and my notes again. Here's the command import initial schema and data. Just copy the entire command and let me paste here. Zcat, the file is in my uh, server.sql.cz that is zz format. So I use zcat command. The path of USR share JBX script mysql. Then I redirect this output to the mysql command. Default my database user jbx and the password is jbx at the rate one to three. Right. So server.sql.cz, if I talk about this one, server.sql.cz, it will create blank rows and column field which will be used by the jbx later on. Right. Once it will be successfully done, we can also verify the schema that we have imported to the database. So let it be complete first. It will take a few seconds. Okay, now let me log in back with root and go with use zabx. Jabix. I'm here, database is changed successfully. So now type the show table command. Show tables e a b l e s tables press enter here you can see that entire table is there right so maintenance log history everything is there so the type of show table command we can see the contains table in the database so here we can see the table entries are successfully imported right let me quit from there now here we can uh, we have to move the next step which is enter the database password in jabbix configuration file file is etc Javix, Javix underscore server dot configuration file and uh, let me put up the entry here. So if I go to the scroll down, um, the database name is Javix, yeah, 105 line is good and user is Javix, yeah, 121 is good. Now here 129 we need to give the password, right? So in my case the password is Javix. at the rate one to three, right? Whatever we have set it. 
So we give the password here, zebix at that one to three, z a w b i x at that one to three, right? Save and quit. Now we need to restart the service. System CPL restart, zebix server. Perfect. Now next we need to configure PHP for the zebix front end by editing PHP uh, fmd dot d zebix dot confi. So go back again. We need to open this file phpfmdjbx.conf and mention our time zone. So I'll go to the bottom and I'll mention my time zone as per my country that is Asia Calcutta. PHP value, date time zone, save and quit. That's it. Now uh, I have mentioned successfully. At this point, I need to restart HTTPD and PHP SPM services one more time. System CTR, restart HTTPD and PHP. FPM services. Okay, now finally we need to start the JBX server and agent process and enable them to auto start as the system boots, right? One point we need to be noted that this agent is used on local hosts. So to monitor remote server, you need to install agents on them and configure to the server to query them. So later on, I will create one more video how to add JBX agent on the server. But now let me start it first. So command is systemctl jbx server and jbx agent. Make it permanent on also. Now you can see jbx server and agent is now start and listening on port number 150 and 151. So you can check them using the net state command. Net state hyphen a and t by grep l i s t e m listen. So here you can see that both are listening perfectly 150 and 151 now move to the final step which is access jbx web interface so let me check the ip address of this machine 192.168.40.129 okay how we can hit 192.168.40.129 slash jbx right just mention slash jbx here here is the welcome page all right so with the jbx server if up and running we can open a browser and point out the following url http server slash jbx right so now just complete the part next is 6.0 all php extensions has been pre-requested successfully done so do next now give the password password is jbx at that one to three press enter give the server name in my case i'm going server1.example.com each at calcutta default blue theme next and here's the pre-installation summary for you so just say next Congratulations, you have successfully installed JBX front end. Finish the page. Now we can log into the front end using JBX default login credentials. We remember default username is admin and the password is JBX in lowercase. So admin Z A B B I X. Press enter. Wow, great. Here you can see that after successfully login, you will find you will land at JBX web front end monitor dashboard, which is global view. So here I am the global view, right? Here you can see that JavaX service is up and running condition and the current date time zone is there, right? So um, we, we, uh, we show some sample of system information, local time and many more. So here from here we can configure the host, we can add more hosted. No, so click on the create host and we can add agent also from the different host, what we have want to monitor and services, inventory, reports, configuration and number of things are there, right guys? So and from here you can change the user settings like change the password and profile settings are there and from here you can sign off so guys this is how we can install zebex in the linux environment hopefully you will understand that this is very useful for you and that's all about this demo finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.